Howdy everybody, Charlie here from Red Butte Garden Arboretum. We're working in our conifer trees in the Four Seasons Garden and just wanted to share with you a little bit about a properly rooted, properly looking rooted in tree. And the easiest way for me to explain that to you is that it looks like a wine glass. The trunk comes down and begins to taper out and go from trunk tissue into the structural buttress roots. And those roots drive away from the stem and anchor the tree into the ground. So as opposed to the last tree we were looking at that seemed like a wine glass sitting on the top of the soil with roots drilling in and anchoring it to the ground, this tree looks a lot more like a telephone pole and it's hard to tell how many good structural roots it has anchoring it into the ground. It's also hard to tell if there's any root defects around the trunk of the tree what we call a stem girdling root that could be impacting it. So this is a tree looking like a telephone pole that I'd wanna pull the soil away and find that root flare, find that wine glass taper and start to investigate if there was any root defects. When we investigate these trees that we can't find that nice taper, that nice wine glass flare on, we often suspect that there could be a stem girdling root. A stem girdling root looks like one of these roots that's almost getting spun in the washing machine or growing around the tree. It, it's not growing out away from the tree, anchoring it into the soil. It's spinning around the tree, causing this dysfunction. And why we, we really don't like these and call them a stem girdling root is that if we leave the root on, it'll continue to grow and compress the trunk and create this point where girdling happens and can even kill the cambium and cut off the ability for the tree to take up water and nutrients on that spot of the tree. So essentially when we've suspected that there's an SGR or that the tree's planted too deep, we'll go to excavating around the tree. So that's gonna be a combination of raking, hand digging, and cultivating the soil. Here I've got a little bit of soil raked away and I'm gonna get in with my soil knife now and just start trying to clean up my work zone so I can make a couple of cuts and remediate the impact of this stem girdling root. Oh yeah, that was a good pop. Now we get into the fun. With that all being done, we're gonna go ahead now and make a few hits with our chisel and try to see if we can get this to separate how we want. So I'm gonna start at the bottom I'm gonna start by just tapping my chisel in, you know, maybe a half inch or so. I'm just gonna walk it up, creating a line and just severing the wood back to the trunk and the good part of the root system that I don't wanna damage. A couple of wax. There's our stem girdling root no longer compressing the tissue. So what I'm gonna do now is do some cleaning and then just work this tissue back as much as I can and get the cleanest, smoothest surface I can to get some good uh, wood sealing action, you know, get, get the tree to grow back over this wound we've created. And uh, I'll clean up our other couple of cuts on the other side and hopefully this tree will be uh, good to go for the next 10 to 20 years.